Hello guys, it's Rory here again. Welcome back to my channel. And just I'm back for another video and for today's vlog, isha-share ko naman sa inyo ang aking master's journey. Yes, natapos na po ako ng aking master's. But if you are new to my channel and you want to study, to work, or maybe nakahanap ka ng jowa dito sa Germany, this channel is for you. So you might as well want to subscribe. So let's jump into the topic yung aking isha-share. Last year, natapos ko rin yung bachelor ko. Uh, that was... August of 2020 and then immediately after ng bachelor and then nag-decide if mag-proceed ba ako ng master studies and then sabi ko baka mahirapan ako maghanap ng work kasi nga dahil sa pandemic some companies are laying off and worse nagko-close pa yung iba and then pag naghanap ako for something na wala naman I might as well want to study further and maybe kapag natapos na yung pandemic open up na ulit yung economy and then pwede na ako makapag-apply. So that's what I did. So nag-start ako ng master's October 2020 last year. And then yung master's namin is four semesters. Yung first, second, and third semesters is uh, meron silang uh, each semester ay merong dalawang subjects. And then last semester, yung fourth semester is thesis writing lang. Yung first and second semester, dito ko spend sa Germany. But yung third semester, the whole semester, the entire semester sa Pilipinas ko siya in-spend. Na-burn out na ako always like sa online lang and then, and then walang social life. So sabi ko, bakit hindi na lang ako umuwi ng Pilipinas? Doon na lang ako mag, uh, mag-aral kasi online naman. Uh, at the same time, nakapag-holiday pa ako. So that's what I did. Yun nga, ano pa ba? Baka kasi makalimutan ko kaya sinulat ko lahat. Ma marami sa akin nagtatanong kung mahirap ba ang master's compare sa bachelor. Well, as for me, yung experience ko, ko lang ha, not to undervalue master's degree. But mas nahirapan ako sa, sa bachelor kasi nga yung uh, field of study ng master's is focus lang sa isang area. Whereas yung bachelor is mix of everything. Like, meron kayong numbers, mix siya. So, I think ganun ko siya pwedeng ipaliwanag. And then, nung nag-aaral ako ng bachelor dito is may examination. Whereas dito sa, sa, dito sa masters, walang examination but mostly case study. So, you are preparing to be a manager. So, you will be given a task. Papaano mo isolve ang ganitong problem, ganitong case, cases. And yun, uh, mas nadalian ako sa kanya. Pero, nahirapan ako sa thesis. Doon talaga dumugo yung utak ko sa pagsusulat ng thesis kasi mahirap yung scope na ginawa ko and then challenges like sarado yung mga, mga libraries and mostly online lang yung research, mga ebooks I mean and hindi ako yung tipo ng tao ng, ng student na gusto kong mga digital, mas gusto ko yung mga physical book na pwede kong lagyan ng color, pwede kong mabali-baliktad and then pwede kong balikan if ever na gusto ko. So yun, yun yung mga challenge, yun ang comparison ng masters and bachelor. Medyo nadalian ako sa masters pero mas mahirap yung yung bachelor. So second, yun nga, graduation namin. Yung graduation namin, di ba one year lang, natapos yung, natapos ko na yung thesis ko, nasubmit ko yung thesis ko, October 10. And yung graduation namin is hindi pa namin alam kung kailan, but I was told by my classmates na ang graduation namin is December. Two months after, masubmit namin yung thesis namin, saka lang namin malalaman if we are going to graduate or not. But I guess ang, ang official graduation namin is December. So, hindi ko pa alam kung anong exact date. I'm quite excited kasi after almost five years ng pag-aaral ko, kasama yung, yung bachelor, uh, I finally finish my, my, my goal. And yun, yung future plans. Anong future plans ko? Ang future plans ko, syempre mag-aral. Ay, mag-aral. Ayaw ko na mag-aaral kasi yung ibang mga friends ko nagtatanong, magpo-proceed ka pa ba sa PhD? Ayaw ko na kasi na-drain na yung utak ko. Wala na. Wala na talagang mapipiga. Napiga na talaga lahat. Yung future plan ko is to find a job. Sabi nung mga German friends ko, ang ginawa ko dapat is while I was writing my thesis, nag apply na ako ng, ng work. But hindi ko kasi kaya mag-multitask na kunyari nag apply ako ng, ng work and then at the same time, nag susulat ng thesis. Ayoko yung daladalawa yung iniisip. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, okay, after I finish my, immediately after I finish my master's, ah, uh, my thesis, master's thesis, then sakalang ako maghahanap ng job. 
which is ginagawa ko na pero hindi wala pa akong feedback na re-receive and hoping na as soon as possible magkaroon na ako ng work pero inisip ko rin sana pala nakinig na lang ako dun sa mga friends ko na nag-advise sa akin na maghanap na ng work uh, before I even finish my masters kaso inisip ko naman kasi what if merong job interview hindi kasi ako mar- hindi kasi ako magaling mag multitask so but by the way ano pa ba yun lang i think yun lang maraming questions kung papaano ba makapag-apply or makapag-aral dito sa Germany meron akong vlog na ginawa i link ko below from university application hanggang kapag apply ka ng visa hanggang makarating ka dito sa Germany all informations meron ako niyan and then i-link ko down below and maybe hindi mo gustong mag-aral dito sa university but to do outfield do meron din kaming mga vlogs about that and uh, ano pa meron din nagtatanong sa akin sa Instagram by the way don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account may nagtatanong sa akin what if mahirap siya sa Pinas Pwede ba siyang mag-aral dito sa Germany? You can be a uh, scholar, which is full scholarship, binibigyan ng German government. Meron kayong allowance monthly. So, hindi mo na kailangan mag- mag-provide ng pocket money or maybe hindi mo na kailangan mag-provide ng black account or yung show money. And then, kapag wala ka nun, mahirap kasi kailangan mong mag-provide ng show money o yung tinatawag nilang black account which is 10,000 euros so maybe half million or more than half million pesos so kapag wala ka nun, mahirap talaga pero yun nga kung ma, ma- afford mong or makakaya mong mag-apply for a scholarship I think that's the best thing uh, that I can advise you so yun lang guys um, yun lang yung konting update ko sa aking masters kung meron kayo mga questions and vlog na gusto nyong ipagawa sa akin or you want to know more things about Germany comment nyo lang down below maybe pwede natin magawa ng content about that so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again on my next vlog bye